goodness, Wendy. So are you coming back, girl? What's going on? Are you coming back? So when can we see you back? You look so healthy. The Wendy Williams show lives forever. Back on in September. Yes, no, yes. Yeah. So. Wendy Williams has been going through it this year, but it looks like she's on the come up. Hello, Wendy. How are you? How you feel? You feeling better? So are you coming back, girl? What's going on? Are you coming back? So when As you guys know, Wendy has been in a fight for control over her money. At one point, it looked like she was going to be placed into a conservatorship because Wells Fargo was holding her money from her. Wendy claims that Wells Fargo has denied her access to her financial assets and her statements due to allegations that she's of unsound mind. So someone came to Wells Fargo and said they're concerned for Wendy Williams. I mean, it seems like she's, you know, throwing her money away. So they just completely froze her account. And it's a weird situation because Wendy's lawyer claims that Wendy can pay for food and things like that, but she can't log into her online bank account and look at her assets. And Wendy is shocked that they are still dealing with these issues because she's been a longtime customer of Wells Fargo. She has a lot of money in their bank, they should treat her with some respect. When it comes to Wendy's battle with Wells Fargo, we don't really know what's going on because I'm pretty sure they sealed the court documents, so we have no idea. And I'm pretty sure Wendy is still fighting with Wells Fargo for control over her life. But as you guys know, Wendy has a show called The Wendy Williams Show, and she hasn't been a part of that show for quite some time. A lot of people think that she's, you know, dealing with health issues because she's been dealing with those in the past. And honestly, it's not surprising if she is dealing with those issues. But it is surprising that now she's out and about she's looking great and she's even hinting to a return of the wendy show sherry shepherd took over wendy's show and now they're gonna have the sherry show so are we gonna have the wendy show and the sherry show because sherry already got her like deal so i'm a little confused we can't have both. So you guys know the Met Gala just went down and after the Met Gala there are a ton of after parties. Everyone goes, even people who, you know, weren't invited to the gala to begin with. And Wendy Williams stepped out and she looks hella good. I mean, look at our girl Wendy. She looks great. Like what? Dementia where? Look at the sne sneakers match the dress. I love how she just wears sneakers with everything. Like as she should. Anyways, so she was out at the Met Gala and stepping out and living her life. I mean, she doesn't look like she's unwell or unsound to me. But um, like I said, she looks good. And she was joined with this guy, Jason Lee, who runs Hollywood Unlocked. I actually really like the Jason Lee guy. I think I do. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know enough about him. But from what I've seen, it seems like he's not scared to like confront things. And I appreciate that. So um, let's talk a little bit about... Oh, so... Oh, it looks like he posted a video. Let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna go ahead and play this video for you guys. Yo, came to New York for the Met Gala, but I wasn't gonna come outside without the sexiest date in New York City. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Bye. Oh my gosh, that video is so cute. I didn't even see that until this article, but there they are. That's his date and they're out and about. She looked so happy in that video and so many people agree that she looks like she's doing great. But the part I can't get over is the fact that she is gonna be coming back. Like the Wendy show is going to return. Honestly, it would be pretty cool if they did like a streaming situation where like the Wendy show isn't every day. So maybe she's not as like stressed out to you know, work so much. But Wendy Williams is doubling down on her return to TV, vowing she'll be back on the air later this year. <gasps> what? We just heard that she was not coming back. What? The longtime host has been MIA from her program for about a year due to health issues. But she was out and about partying it up at the party where Cardi B hosted. One of the TMZ photographers asked Wendy if they are going to be back on TV and she claims that she will be. But again, it doesn't make sense because Sherry Shepard is supposed to be replacing Wendy. Let's go ahead and watch this clip that TMZ took of Wendy. I will have to pause this in the middle because TMZ like copyrights everything, but here they are out about Jason Lee and Wendy Williams. Lee and Wendy Williams. Oh my goodness, Wendy, you know we love you. So are you coming back, girl? What's going on? Are you coming back? 
So when can we see you back? You look so healthy. The Wendy Williams show lives forever. Wendy Williams show lives forever. Hmm. Well, Fox seemed like they were pretty ready to get rid of you, especially with all those like former employees coming out and sharing these horror stories about Wendy. Wendy, we love you. Oh my God. I love you more. So will you be back on um back on in September? Yes, no, yes. Yes, yes, back on in September. Yes. We love it. Back on in September. I mean, that's pretty soon. I mean, I would love it because honestly, I am a fan of Wendy Williams. I do recognize she's got a problematic past, but um, the Sherry show just doesn't hit the same. But TMZ did catch this photo of Wendy at the uh, at the airport in March. So she's been traveling around doing her own thing. I mean, there she is. She looks just fine to me. Like got herself together. There's her son right there who's honestly been like, it seems like the only person rooting for her in her life right now, which is it's important. She really needs that support. So she's been hanging out in Miami. That's where she's been staying. Um, but of course, last night she was out and about with Jason Lee and she claims she's returning. What do you guys think about this situation? Again, I do like Wendy Williams, so I am rooting for her. Also, I'm just like, at the end of the day, I'm rooting for everyone who's not an actual criminal. Like, we want people to be healthy. We want people to do well. Like, guys, remember there's karma out here. Trust me. I agree that Wendy Williams has done some bad things and some people call this karma, these health issues, but maybe it is her karma. Who knows? I don't really know how karma works. I just know that um, when it comes to people who are, you know, disliked on the internet, you know, we don't need to hate them. If they're like a child predator, that's a different situation. But like, okay, we can wish her well wishes and recognize that she's done some things that are problematic and hope that maybe she does, you know, get to do whatever she wants to do does she want to come back to tv does she want to you know do a streaming show i would honestly be interested in like a hulu wendy williams like reality show like keep me up with the kardashians but like show us everything like <laughs> talk about this lawsuit with wells fargo expose the hell out of them because she makes about 15 million dollars a year there's a lot of money in that account she's been on tv for a very long time so i'm still very sus when it comes to wells fargo and i don't believe that wendy needs a conservatorship or guardianship or anything like that so comment below what you guys think i am going to be traveling up to the north today i'll be driving like eight hours so i'm going to edit this and then hit the road so i'll see you guys later bye guys oh also the amber heard and johnny depp video should be out hopefully tomorrow hopefully bye guys